Hello, Plant Papasi. Welcome back to the Tender Guys today. We got the news following the April 1st episode of SmackDown. We kick things off with Rhea Ripley has returned from her absence and is once again available to compete on WWE SmackDown. Bianca Belair has returned from her absence and is once again available to compete for WWE SmackDown. Bobby Lashley is upset about being left off of last week's show. Will Ospreay is upset about being left off of last week's show. And Petey Williams is upset about being left off of last week's show. Videos of when Rey Mysterio made Carl Anderson submit in a perfect commission match have gone viral on the internet. Also, we do have some breaking news for WrestleMania. The Intercontinental Championship, of course, has been vacant due to Adam Cole um, being injured at the hands of Brooks Jensen. So at WrestleMania, it will be Brooks Jensen taking on the man who was eliminated by Adam Cole in the Fastlane Intercontinental Championship match, Kyle O'Reilly, at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. So we got Brooks Jensen taking on Kyle O'Reilly for the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania. And then our second WrestleMania match is confirmed after Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair, after Ronda Rousey and Rhea Ripley tied after 20 minutes of a grueling battle. Management has decided to make the Women's Championship at WrestleMania a triple threat match. It will be the champion, Charlotte Flair, taking on Ronda Rousey and Rhea Ripley for the WWE Women's Championship at WrestleMania and then our main event after Malachi Black and Kenny Omega went to a tie after 20 minutes the main event has been changed for WrestleMania it will be Seth Rollins defending his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Stone Cold Steve Austin Kenny Omega and Malachi Black a federal four-way elimination match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Thank <laughs> you. 